So in this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at this pen. It's called the Pentel Flotune. And this is a 2023 release. It's a rollerball, which is kind of surprising because not a lot of companies are releasing rollerballs lately. And uh, it's from Pentel, a pen company that we kind of most closely associate with gel pens like the Energel line. So uh, the deal with this is, and you have to do a little bit of research to figure this out, but they call it a water-based rollerball, which is, that's what a rollerball is. It uses a water-based ink. But in the materials, the Pentel actually says that it uses a water-based ink that has an infusion of oil-based lubricant. So basically, it's a kind of new style rollerball, and uh, that's supposed to kind of change the game and make it skip-free. I've never found that rollerballs are particularly bad with skipping, but uh, I guess this is meant to be an improvement. The Flotune, it comes in this white color. It has a minimalist design. It's actually a pretty cool looking pen. You know, not spectacular, but definitely on the modern side. And uh, it's only sold in that 0.8 millimeter size, which is kind of strange. Usually you'd see uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and then 1.0 millimeter would be typical in a Japanese rollerball. Sometimes in the European brands, you see 0.6 and 0.8, but uh, they went with 0.8. So it's, I guess, a slightly larger medium, but not quite, quite abroad, and uses a conical tip. They say it has a fine-tuned pen tip mechanism. I, I can't tell any difference. It just looks like a normal conical pen tip, and uh, it is not refillable. I haven't kind of broken this thing open because I don't have a ton of these yet. They are like still relatively new, and uh, but it's not refillable. They don't sell refills, and this doesn't open up from what I could tell. So uh, looking at the packaging, this is the Flotune packaging. Uh, it's sold in a two-pack. And, oh, I meant to say that it's uh, only sold so far in the medium, which is 0.8, black, blue, and red. I've been testing it in black. And the material is relatively light. Latest evolution of rollerball ink. They, see, they don't say anything about the oil-based thing there. That is on their website. Smooth plastic barrel, textured latex-free grip, and uh, some post-consumer recycled material. As far as the pen itself, like I said, it's quite minimalist. It looks kind of like a Bic, but with a nicer clip. It has a really nice-looking clip. It kind of looks like the clip from uh, some of Platinum's rollerballs or mid-level rollerballs. I like that a lot. It has this little plastic piece and with that kind of slope here that's typical that like pentel does that a lot usually uh on some of the energy gels they have that on the label we see the model number that's also over here by 108 and uh black color 0.8 millimeter and they even say water-based ink here i think they missed the hyphen uh but they don't say anything about the oil infusion <laughs> the infusion of oil-based lubricant they don't say anything about that there uh, they do say recap after use. That's pretty typical. Here is the inside of the pen. You see, it's all hard plastic here. There's nothing there, just kind of white. There's a little bit of, uh, there's something here. So it says 2K. I don't know if that was the, uh, you know, the, the factory line or the set of pens this is. It's not really clear why that's stamped in there. There's a little marker here. Uh, also not clear. Maybe it's a, it's not a roll stop. I don't know what that is there for. Anyway, all hard plastic. This is that grip material. There's no give to it, but it's a little bit rubbery. It feels a little bit, slightly bit like oily or something. It's it's fine. There's not really anything to it. And then there's this sort of uh, front matter, which is, again, can't be removed. Pretty basic. Nice click in place. It's actually really well done for a plastic pen. And then we have the clip. Like I said, it looks a lot like a Platinum, like a Procyon or something like that with that nice kind of ridge in there. Made in Japan, you could see there. It's kind of it for the pen. It's not really, from a design standpoint, it's certainly clean, but it's not in any way exceptional. Uh, I think that's it as far as notes go. It's kind of a simple pen you could buy. I think they're about two, three bucks each. I bought a two pack for maybe six bucks or five ninety nine, something like that. 
and let's get into the writing. So it is a nice, smooth rollerball. There's, there's really nothing negative to say about it, but that's not really something that the market has been lacking. You know, you could buy a Bic Atlantis. You could buy a, I think it's like a 12 pack for like maybe five, six dollars, and you're getting a very similar pen. Sure, this is smoother than the Bic rollerballs, but not like it's not it's not like a step change from one to the next this is, is sort of like a kind of like office friendly budget rollerball so i'm like a little bit uh confused as to what pentel thought the uh the flotune was bringing to the table i think this you know the fact that it's using that that water and oil mixture Again, it's not really clear, like water and oil tend not to mix. So I'm not sure. I'm curious to learn more about this ink and, and like if they're using some sort of surfactants or something like that to keep them together. Is that going to affect the quality of the ink over time? I, I, it's like some sort of emulsion, but Zebra has the, the Z emulsion. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm just sort of curious for no real reason uh, about this ink, but it's totally fine. It doesn't skip. I guess, you know, it does what it says on the on the box there. So that's quite good. But again, these water-based rollerballs are not that bad as far as skipping goes. Maybe it'll be better once they come out with this in a point. If they come out with a 0.5 or 0.4 millimeter, then I'm a little bit curious to see how much better it'll be. Once you're up to the 0 0.7, 0 0.8, one dead millimeter, it's not, these tens, these pens don't tend to skip a ton. They tend to just run out of ink quickly that's the upside and the downside of using a water-based ink anyway I, I like writing with it it's definitely enjoyable it has a nice smoothness to it uh you know probably a little bit smoother than a typical budget gel but you know it's i still prefer the pentel energel line i don't really see a way to move a reason to move away from the energel over to the float tune uh again maybe that'll happen once they come out with the 0.5 millimeter or whatever but I, again, for, for right now, it's enjoyable to use, but in no way exceptional. So it's the float tune. And just, just for some like reference points, I have a, this is a Uniball I. It's a kind of very old school rollerball. This is a, a 1.0 millimeter. So kind of like one size up. So this is the Uniball I pretty similar. I think that the Uniball kind of like isn't quite as smooth, even though it's a little bit larger, it has a little bit of kind of like drag to it that the Flotune doesn't have. So I guess that's nice. Then I have this. This is a uh, Pilot V Grip 1.0 millimeter. It's the same as the the Pilot V10, uh, just like they call the V Grip, which has a, a grip here. So I'll call this one a V10, V grip. This one's quite smooth. Has a, has a basically a very similar kind of tip design and writing experience. Uh, but this one, I kind of feel that extra width a little bit more. And this one puts down a, a lot of ink. That's sort of like the, uh, it has a, a pretty cool dark color. That's like kind of the most notable part about that V10 and V grip. But again, not not usually different, you know. The flow tune's a little bit narrower, was 0.8 instead of 1.0 millimeter, but not a giant difference there. And this one has a nice click. It has kind of a dated design, but you know that's not a giant deal. Here I have a. This is a uh, Schneider One Business. I, I I wanted to bring this one to the video just because Schneider is a German company and and they use 0.6 millimeter for their rollerballs was they measure the actual width as opposed to just calling it a 0.7 which it's the common usage uh and that, that's typically why you see the 0.4s and the 0.7 and 0.6s from some of these uh european companies and this is the schneider and this one i don't know if my hand was there or this one is starting to get a little bit old this one actually is kind of like a uniball air, what has a sort of plastic tip there. 
uh, but it's you know similar in size and, and they use the actual measurement. So this one's a little narrower, this one's a little wider, this one kind of, again, I'm not sure if this had some oil on it or if it's uh, starting to, let's see. Yeah, I guess the paper was just a little bit dirty. This was actually a little bit smoother. These are just some reference points. I, I wouldn't say these are perfect apples to apples comparisons. It, it, it just, I guess my point is that I've been enjoying the flow tune, but I've been kind of holding off on doing the video because uh, I'm still kind of waiting for the magic to kick in. It's a perfectly capable rollerball pen, and I'm glad Pentel is still releasing rollerball, so that's quite cool. But it hasn't done anything really exceptional for me. I like the design, and I, again, I'm happy it exists, but this isn't one I would rush out to buy. Thanks for watching.